All right, your boy Biscuits from Heaven with another video uh, on anime content. Let's check if I'm streaming, recording, etc. And I am Dragon Ball Super Chapter 62. I'm done with using my hands. All right, so 61 was great. 61 was the best super chapter in my opinion, maybe ever. There were some nitpicks that um. Uh, I don't want to say experts, because I mean, like, this is, literally, we're just giving our opinions and using a couple of, uh, random sources to back up our opinions. None of us are, are, are experts. I'm going to try to keep the cursing down. None of us are experts. I mean, come on. Geekdom provides a lot of information that people normally wouldn't be able to find. He's a more concise... I don't know, let's say search engine for, for specific Dragon Ball topics. He's not an expert. He is one of the more informed individuals in this community. And I think there's a difference. Now, I'm not trying to call out Geekdom or anybody that, that does Dragon Ball content. But no one's an expert. But in my not expert opinion, but decently informed by Dragon Ball, I've, I've consumed Dragon Ball content since... Five, I'm 21. Um, it was one of the best pieces of Dragon Ball material. Fucking eyelash. In quite a while. 62, I saw, I saw a panel that was leaked. Uh, a lot of people were, were very willing to spoil this chapter. Um, more than just about any other chapter. Even more or even trend on Twitter. Uh, people did not care about spoiling this whatsoever, which is pathetic. Um, it's small dick energy pause that anybody would even consider spoiling the climax thus far of this arc. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous, dog. At seven, three's power has been added to your strength. And do you, what kind of fucking question is that? Are you retarded? Do you just eat? Did he become part of your energy? It's Piccolo, like, come on, man. How do I go? I want to go like left and right. I don't know. What's happening? Here? I usually use the 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 the, the um. Okay, now it works. What the fuck? Crud. <laughs> All right, so that's God Vegeta that appears. That may be blue though. It's always hard to tell with manga. Uh, Vegeta is still refusing to accept that uh, he just ain't it no more. They got they got to make his power relevant again somehow, right? The new power he learned it can't just only be relevant for one chapter. Maybe they'll fuse and like Gogeta or Vegito can use it. Or maybe you can teach it to Goku who will go to UI and use it. I don't know. Cause it appears that Vegeta like literally just can't hit him anymore. Uh the rule says it only lasts three minutes. He'll be back to his former strength if we run off if we run out the clock. This power has returned home, there is no time limit. I don't know, like, what power, so, like, 73's power was to, to go to three different individuals, right? Um, I guess what Moro did wasn't absorb 73 necessarily, which he did. He just absorbed, let's say, the backup he had. Basically, he was a husk. 73 was a husk of the power that uh, Moro had on hand me <laughs> well this is direct contact wait 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 wait, whoa, whoa. that should have been uh, he should have got a little bit of power no i'm just kidding it wouldn't even matter uh he just copied vegeta goodness gracious this makes go i mean like literally if this makes him broken because he's literally fashion all of them he can just do that if he wanted to to all of them but uh i don't even know why he would need necessarily there What's he gonna do here? Big Bang Attack? Oh no! <laughs> Big Bang Attack! <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. Yo, if you if you haven't played Budokai Three, you were not old enough to play Budokai Three. There is no build up like the um. I think it was um. I think it was just a simple ultimate attack. It might have been like one of the combo ultimates. But anyway, the build-up, there was build-up every ultimate in, in uh, Budokai. The build-up of Vegeta's ultimate attack, Big Bang attack, 
was he just charges up and he gets to do the button mashing. Whoever wins the button mashing, like, I think takes less damage or inflicts less damage, respectively. Welcome to Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. And then he just, like, charges that bitch. He's like, oh, it's amazing, bro. I, I will play it, but, you know, I don't know if I might get him on his eyes. But anyway, Big Bang Attack is an OG. And Vegito's dead as well. Vegito is dead as well. Such a grandiose name. Such an ordinary key blast. Dude, Moro is pretty good. Mor Moro is pretty... I mean, he looks like Cell right now with, like, some demon influences, but... Wow. <laughs> yeah, Moro's a badass right now. Uh, he's kind of he's kind of hack hatched, but, you know... That means you can use four spirit fish and you guys all just a good fusion. Oh my god, yo, yo, shout out to Toro. He's writing around like, it, yo, this is really good writing. You guys always had the fusion death of Toro and other means of goodbye. And like, on my last, on the last chapter I looked at, which I believe is on my podcast, uh, Black Bill Burr on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever you go to watch podcast. One thing I specifically noted was that Toro Toro has been using Piccolo as the narrator tool pretty much it, the way that it's, it's two way the way that we kind of have these thoughts and we've had these thoughts about well why don't you just do this or why don't you just do that um i feel like piccolo has basically become like the fourth wall into which Toro is answering those questions through him if that makes sense he's become like the communication bridge which i mean i guess it's pretty cool because piccolo has always been a very uh, I want to say omniscient character, uh, or at least since, you know, Z Warriors have stopped mattering and like only Saiyans have. Ever, pretty much since then, Piccolo has been more of a narrator role anyway. I can go and restore the energy and fly that. Yes, that's true. So then they could commit suicide. Let's get it. Because <laughs> there's no reason why that should work. Uh, that's Krillin. Everyone's key centers are key centers. Why? If only I'd given Goku some sense of this when we split them. Okay, so this is uh, this is interesting. So we're gonna have Krillin and Goku both. I mean, Krillin and Dende both come at the same time. Uh, I thought they're gonna set up Moro trying to absorb Dende. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Which I don't know why he would, but that's what they're gonna go for. I wonder where we're gonna get. To, I feel like it's gonna be. Around the end, we're gonna get to the panel. If you've used Twitter or anything like that, you've you've seen the panel. <laughs> Jesus, what a what a brute! <laughs> I won't let you go, even if you kill me. I don't you realize I'm keeping you alive? You my millionaire. I mean, at this point, I'm gonna be halfway dead. By this. is he gonna do the Structo disc? Oh, he's gonna do the uh. The volley cannon uh, set up with uh, from from Go Tanks. What's that? What's that called? Uh, Boo Boo volley cannon or something like that. I think that's the that's the we put him in a ball and does the volleyball. I forgot what this one was called. It's a transmission Kamehameha. Oh, he absorbed it. Oh fuck! This actually made Moro like struggle. So this was like all Goku had pretty much was instant transmission coming at me, huh? And he absorbed well, he did absorb it, I guess. It blew his arm off, it appears. Yeah, a nice butt crack scene right there. I don't know what that's all about. He can regenerate. For the hole in the nigga nickname is as Dolphin. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that caught me off guard. I knew what I was looking for, and I it's still look how menacing this is. This this has to be probably the most ruthless thing I've seen a villain do in Dragon Ball. It okay. I would say that Goku Black coming to Earth and like wiping out uh Chi Chi and, and, and Goten off rip. That was pretty ruthless. Uh, but this is so like look how visceral that is. That's the most visceral thing I think I've seen in a Dragon Ball anything in a while. I I would say that the Chi Chi uh Goten Goku Black is like a little what well, the thing is you don't even see that. Like I'm thinking from anime, I didn't read it in the manga. But from an anime perspective, that wasn't shown. 
and I don't even know if that happened in the uh, in the manga. If I was if I if we just got past that, this is easy most savage thing to happen in, in Dragon Ball. Maybe the most savage thing I've seen since like Cell coming in and and Death Finger uh, Death Beam uh, Trunks. It's, that's yo, that's crazy. And it's just the what adds to it so much that he just walks up to him. Goku's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. And then Moro just has this like epiphany. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. God damn, what a fucking panel, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> you get a nigga the aim treatment, bro. I thought I mentioned that the ability 7-3 copy or mine are now mine forever with no pesky time limits. Wow, bro. And we thought it was like a throwaway saga. Like, at least I did. For the longest, I thought this was like a throwaway saga. A throwaway villain. Like, a, a segue between, like, Broly slash um, Jiren to the next big guy. Holy shit, bro. This is... <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, my nigga. Dude, he put something behind that. <laughs> Toro Toro came through with that. Don't they gotta let go on those Super Saiyan white. Man. Come on, man. They gotta let go on go you are. Right. Uh, Super Saiyan uh, Ultimate. Come on, man. They gotta get Gohan something, man. Gohan just saw his dad get speared, man. They gotta give Gohan some kind of something. Did he hear that? Oh man, he could get the test and the Mechian abilities. Jesus Christ! Oh man. Yo, Moro is crazy, bro. It made him ridiculous. Oh my god, man. They made Moro ridiculous, man. So is Krillin have to save the day? I'm guessing Krillin just barely made it in. That's what I'm assuming is about to happen here. Oh, he didn't? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so Vegeta, I guess Vegeta's got to be nuts. 17 and 18, where the hell did they even come from? Okay. Yo, Toro Toro has more on his his eyes and uh, I guess like the so the what, what do they call it the um uh, the Gote Thirteen. It, <laughs> this is literally like exactly like eyes and Gote Gote Thirteen, just knocking the shit out of everybody. Full power, no power, doesn't matter. Just kill him. Broly against Goku, Vegeta, uh, Trunks, and Gohan, and Piccolo. Is he gonna use a uh, hell zone grenade? <laughs> Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Did Piccolo take his eye off the ball? I thought Piccolo took his eye off the ball for a minute. Oh my god, dog. He didn't even let him charge up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they got to bring mirrors in. Mirrors is coming in. There's no other way around it. Mirrors is definitely coming in. I knew it. <laughs> I, he had to. I mean, there's no other way around it. Man. Mirrors had to come in at this point. I mean, we Oh, man. You thought it was sweet. You thought it was sweet. <laughs> All right, they they won up themselves. That was 
That was sensational, bro. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. <laughs> Right, let's go to Reddit first. I always go to Reddit on these anime-related things and see what they're talking about. That was... <sighs> All right. Deep breath. Let's see what Reddit's talking about real quick. Oh my god, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 I yo, <laughs> I mean, it was just like simply amazing. There's no, there's really not many things you can say. Um, I mean, look at some of this. Vegeta gets just smacked the fuck up. I mean, just dubbed. Vegeta. <laughs> Uh, okay, so going in, in, in order, you know, Gohan and Piccolo try to fight, he just knocks them both out the way, like silly putty. They set up the, um, the instant transformation of Kamehameha. behind. All it does is blow off, uh, Moro's arm. That's all it does. Moro regenerate, I, easily one of the, like, the, the best manga panel I've ever seen from Dragon Ball. Just individual. Heals, puts his arm intentionally through Goku. Goku's frozen with fear. Interrupts the um I believe he's gonna do the um the light cannon or the uh I think it's called Mark and Sopo. No, that's that's a special beam cannon. But uh I think he's gonna do the, the light cannon um thing, not Hells and Grenade. The light cannon uh is interrupted with special beam cannon. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I mean, this is probably gonna be like it. it I, what I what I what I saw happening from the jump was Moro's gonna get involved somehow and get erased. Um, I think I predicted this like three chapters ago. Moro's gonna get involved, uh, or Mirrors was gonna get involved. Um, the second that that he saw that Goku couldn't keep up his UI, uh, he's gonna get involved and probably either get killed by. Grand Priest during or after a fight. Either way, it'll probably, you know, Goku may get pissed off or he may just heal up, go to MUI. Uh, Vegeta, yeah, Vegeta could heal up too and, and go. Uh, Vegeta's hit his peak. That's not going to happen. It's going to be Goku saves the day again. Um, I, yeah, here, here, exactly right here. Well, that's when she took on Goku and Vita Sakura's very mean event. They can't believe Vita Sakura's shitty attempt to do it. It's just an They very much like Vita Sakura's very mean event. Here you go. Uh, so maybe, th it, this is, I can see this happening. This part right here. So mirrors like, just washes. We see a, we see an angel. Toro Targa is what we always wanted. We see an angel fight. He just dubs the, like, the absolute shit out of Moro. Whis comes in. Hakai, Mirrors is gone, but Dende makes it in, heals Goku, so we get perfect UI against against Moro. I don't know, but I I, I can see this part too. Um, this fight will serve as big motivation for Goku, Goku and Vegeta going forward. I mean, they see Mirrors die for them. They see they got completely outclassed. This this is what I, see, and I see what he's saying here. Beerus is forced to either dies or has to pull out. I imagine at this point he's been worn several times. I think he would just get killed. But the only way I can see Beerus being involved in this is if just for Tora to get this point across, Goku and Vegeta like having to get humbled and reach some new level, um, which shouldn't be possible at this point. But they have to do that because they just got completely sunned by Moro. That's the only way I can see Beerus being involved. And I just I don't know. I was like, Tortoro has broken a lot of uh, usual Dragon Ball tropes with um with this piece right here. However, I just can't see. You have a healer coming. You have MUI on the table. You have 
Goku being trained to slowly perfect you are. And then you have the inevitable guy comes in and can't actually save uh, the Z Warriors, but he can give Goku more time to heal. This is a tried and true formula for them. I mean, I just can't see his ending with Goku not using MUI. Um, but that was that was fucking phenomenal. Bro. That was phenomenal. That's a phenomenal chapter. Galactic Donut. That's what it's called. Galactic fucking Donut. They gotta have Gohan do something, man. I would. I would like to see them give Gohan a power up instead, because he mentioned the the uh, Zenkai boost in reference to Gohan. I would like, if if they didn't do Moro, well, they can't have Moro or Mirrors kill Moro. That just can't happen. But if they hadn't have somebody that's not like Beerus or Whis uh, fight, which Whis wouldn't, but Beerus fight, I. Gohan would be who I would prefer. I would prefer Gohan. Vegeta has a moment. They're not going to let Vegeta win this. They've already shown that Vegeta's not going to win this. But like, think about this. Some new level of power for Gohan. Like, put it like right here. MUI again. This is where I'm at. I, I can't. I just. I, I, like, I like MUI. It's supposed to be an ultimate tool. If we use it every fucking time they have trouble, it's not ultimate tool. It's just the inevitable. It's just like, it's like with um, with season eight uh, of Game of Thrones, which I know I know people usually come back to when it comes to poor writing, but I'm not doing it just for that. We just knew, well, in season seven too. We just knew that Jon Snow was going to last until pretty much the last episode of season eight. Like we knew, especially after the uh, the White Walker, uh, the the battle in, in the north went the way it did. We knew go, we knew that Daenerys and Jon was going to last in the end. If we have the ideal that MBY is going to be used every time some shit happens, then it doesn't matter what methods you have to get us to MBY. It's not going to feel that wholesome. It's just like when. It's just like when we had transformations happening every single saga. Like we knew that SS3 is coming, or we knew that Fusion was coming, or Patara is coming, or you know whatever Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. We knew that was we knew that was coming. What made those arts like what made sequential art? Pretty much every art after Freeze and art, maybe after Sail art, went down in quality to me. Like you have. You have you have Boo, which I would think I would think Boo is like eight and a half out of ten, maybe. I haven't watched the full Boo saga, but I know it's just a story at this point, obviously. I would say that's like eight out of ten, eight point five out of ten. I mean, just for Savage Vegeta alone, it at an um, extra point. I would say that the Battle of Gods arc is like six and a half, six. I mean that. The animation was was not great. I think the animation was awful to start out with Super. And the animation on the movie was as outside of the fight. Like they had some ad and I'm not one of the animation sticklers. But the animation wasn't good. Uh you know, they had the new body types and all that stuff there. So what it didn't feel like Z. It was obviously different than Z. Um and then God didn't even win the end. Like Super Saiyan God did not win the end. It was defeated. They became best friends, all that. I give that like a 6 out of 10. Uh, Resurrection of Frieza. Probably about the same. Maybe a little bit higher because they made some of those minor critters feel a little bit better. So maybe like 6.5 out of 7. 6.5, maybe 7. Goku Black Zamasu should have been maybe the best super arc of all time. Maybe. It, it, they just dropped the ball. So I wouldn't, okay, I can't say the best. But it should have been top 3. It, it, the the problem is that they kept on having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That no matter what the ending, what happened with the ending, that was going to be like a, a point deducted. But it was at least so concise, so narrow, so trunks focused that it seems like if they just stuck that ending, it, I don't know, commit to something. Did you want to commit to Patar? Did you want to commit to um, Trunks and the fucking Spirit Bomb Sword, which? Oh my god, that was not good. That was not a good idea. 
Did you want to commit? I guess they did commit inevitably to to Zeno, uh, but like, I feel like it's a better way to segue. Goku, uh, merge the monster is unstoppable. To we need to set up Zeno so we can set up turning the power. There should be like a better like between point to point B. They didn't the whole everything after fuse the Masu or after Patara unfuses. Pretty much the the Patar can only stay this period of time as pulled. The the the, the GT Gogeta rule, pretty much from here to the end, did not work. But even then, I was still says eight out of ten. That that's a that's a boom, and it's a boom. But it's a it's a it's a steep dive. It's a very steep dive from like boo to to ROG slash you know ROF whatever. Um... I and mean, you get the tournament power, which I think is like all in all to me. I feel like tournament power is like eight point five out of ten. I really don't think it's like an amazing anime. It just had a couple touching moments. It had some cool transformations. It had Pratar. It had some other cool things. I mean, it was cool, but like it wasn't like like I'm not watching peak anime there. So I mean, eight point five like maybe even stretching it. Jiren was like wasn't that interested in me as a character. Uh, but he was con- commandeering. Uh, UI was cool. Eight point five, I think, is so I, that's where I'm at on it. And this, this could be, oh, this could be damn near Z level. Like this, I would say they never reached Z level again. Like this was, this was like a, a glass ceiling, and the glass ceiling, like right above, was like Boo Saga. They never reached Boo Saga again in the remainder of this anime. They never did, in my opinion. Got, they got close with, with the Goku Black and Zamasu. They on a cusp, and they just dropped the ball. If they can stick this landing, if they can make Gohan relevant, if they can do it without MUI, I don't even let MUI be a thing, but like, don't let it be the finisher. If they can do it with bringing emotion and gravity towards Mirus inevitably being written out of the rest of this series if they can do that this can be nine out of ten bare minimum in my opinion i i know some people are quite contentious a lot of people were very divisive on the design of a final form moro moro's power is essentially an ass pull i understand that the thing the thing about this though is we haven't had a hats villain in Dragon Ball as far, like at least from Z to I've never watched Dragon Ball OG, but from Z to this point, we didn't have a hats villain. We just had guys that were just boom, 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 just incredibly strong, and then the other characters get stronger. This is the first time in my opinion I can remember where they had to just be cunning they couldn't be it couldn't be some brawling you know i punch you you punch me thing it always had to be they had to have find something that could just give them a little leeway to survive against moro i this 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 art is is in in my opinion a standalone art it's not the leftover you know time from after tournament power slash super or a broly I think this is big. I think this is big to me. I think this is big. Uh, how long is it going? 28 minutes. Holy shit. Uh, There's a lot, and, and here, here's the last thing I'll say before I close this up. There's a lot of things that make something like well written. When you get to this point in a series, and like the the the, the viewers can't predict who is going to be what and what is going to be where, that means that you're doing a good job. This is the first. I think this is the first time that anybody. That's been an avid Dragon Ball watcher can say confidently they don't know exactly how this is gonna end. I I would say even to the the very T. 
we knew with realm of god with, with, yeah realm of gods that there was no way that with the, the power difference that Brett Rears was gonna lose to Goku. God was wasn't gonna do that. Even if he did, I mean, where'd you go from there? I mean, someone had to train to be stronger than God, obviously. That was that was obvious. We knew with with Resurrection Frieza that Frieza was gonna destroy the planet. I mean, that was just we knew they bring back Frieza and have more Frieza, so Frieza couldn't just permanently die either. We knew that, and we knew that he wasn't gonna blow the planet. We just knew that with Goku Black and Zamasu. We knew that Goku and Vegeta wasn't going to die from fighting Trunks' war. That was obvious. And I would say that we didn't know... Matter of fact, I, I can't even say we didn't know the Zeno thing was going to happen because they heavily... I mean, they threw the Zeno. Entire, it was like an entire two-minute, three-minute scene revolved around the zero, Zeno button. I mean, that was going to be important. I thought that uh, Toriyama forgot. That's what I thought, but evidently he didn't. Um... I didn't. I'll say that I didn't see a spirit sword coming. That was crazy to me. I did not see that coming. It was well written, though. It was relatively well written. We knew. Listen, what UI was hinted pretty much the entire series up until that point. We knew UI was going to happen at some point in that saga. Now, we also knew Goku wasn't going to die via his own spirit bomb in a one-hour special. I mean, that was, that was also very obvious. However. I mean, they did it in the right way. I mean, I can't be mad the way they did it. It, it did build up hype. He was gone for like 20, he was gone like, like 10 to 12 minutes off camera. Like, we didn't see Goku for like an entire, like, almost half an episode, which is, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, it's Goku, you know. Um, they, they did they did well, with, even though with knowing that we were going to see UI and UI was probably going to win. They did it right. We also did, we didn't... We, okay, I, we kind of saw that. I mean, we still have Vegeta, I mean, Frieza and 17 in bounds. So we kind of knew that they were going to play a part. But it could also have been Goku Vegeta who did it, or Goku Vegeta Frieza, or Goku Vegeta 17. So to have a Goku Frieza was pretty cool. I mean, I, that was well written too. This can also be well written. This should be very well written. We don't have any idea. We don't know any direction whatsoever. Beerus, Whis, Mirrors, um, Goku, go on. We got at least five different people that could be the ultimate. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I like this. I, I like this. Uh, this is this is good. This has been a, a great. Um, Wait, what the fuck? What is this dude talking about? Wait, is this dude an idiot? Is he really trying to argue that? No, I guess fucking idiot a down vote. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? What a what an absolute moron! Jesus Christ. I, why, why does he even want to stand on this? I mean, it's just idiotic, bro. I literally, it just, it's just shown that it is what it is. I mean, y'all could be wrong. You're wrong about everything, you fucking idiot. Yo, if you see this dude on Reddit, downvote this motherfucker on the site. It doesn't matter what he said, just downvote him. I don't care. Uh, anyway, um, peace. I just realized I probably couldn't see for the last 35 minutes. What are you going to do?